I just found someone's wallet out there. I will try and track you down. Chili. So welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for joining me. My name is Derek from Simnet Nutrition and I'm out here moving my body on this very crispy December morning on Vancouver Island here in British Columbia, Canada. So as we move into the cold, wet, dark months, I've noticed that my activity level has kind of been going down a little bit while my food intake has kind of been going up. So I have inadvertently been starting a bit of a bulk here and I noticed the other day when I looked in the mirror and I like definitely wasn't as lean as I have been in the past and I got thinking and I was like man should I do an actual bulk? I've never really put the time into doing a real bulk where I really try and stay in a surplus for an extended period of time. I don't know there's a lot of factors that go through my head when I'm thinking about cutting and bulking and that's kind of why I'm making this video today because I want to hear what you guys think about it. I want to hear if you go through the same things that I do in your mind and the thoughts that you have and if you guys would want to see me like go through a bulk and maybe get some value out of it how I cram those extra calories in throughout the day on this whole foods plant-based vegan diet. So I've had a good warm-up out here and well I've kind of cooled down by now but I've been moving my body so I'm kind of loosened up. I had a big leg day yesterday so I've just been kind of like running around getting some of that lactic acid out of my muscles getting some of that blood flow moving and now I'm ready to hit the gym so I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna smash it I'm gonna go home make a smoothie bowl and then we'll talk about all the factors and things that go through my head when I'm thinking about whether I should do a bulk or not and uh, maybe we can come to a conclusion by the end of this video and if not Maybe you guys can help me in the comments down below. But yeah, let's get inside. It is too chilly out here. So this sucks. I just got back in my car to drive to the gym and I put the key in the ignition. And nothing. Ooh, that connection was loose. Huh. All right. So let's try this again. It might actually start. First tip, if your battery isn't working or your car's not starting, check the connections of the battery. Boom! Start right up. Look what I got. What's this? So cool. Oh, baby looks so good. So check it out. Look who got on the cover of Simply Vegan magazine. <laughs> Cue the cheering. <laughs> Not only did I get on the cover, but I got a full page spread in it. They sent me some questions a couple weeks ago, maybe a couple months ago now, yeah, it was to my email and I answered them and they were like, oh yeah, we'll try and uh, put it in the magazine and I didn't think too much of it and then somebody tagged me like a week and a half ago uh, with my picture like on the cover of this and I was blown away. So shout out to Simply Vegan Magazine for doing this for me and for getting the message out there and having a vegan magazine. This is just awesome. I can't believe I'm in this. And of course, a smoothie bowl had to make <laughs> yeah. nice. Like the classic yeah. Derek Simmons smoothie bowl is in there. I love Very proud of you, babe. Thank you, babe. Oh, with your help and encouragement. Thank you, babe. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna get working out and then uh, we'll head home, make that smoothie bowl, and then talk about my future goals if I have any. <laughs> Not even sure. Oh, is this what we're talking about? All right, so I just got home from my workout and I'm definitely craving this smoothie bowl. So I'll show you guys what I'm gonna put in it. It's a pretty standard smoothie bowl for me, but it's always so good. So, ah, okay, this isn't gonna work, one sec. All right, so in this one, I'm putting three frozen bananas. We've got a cup and a half to two cups of frozen mixed berries. We've got a couple pitted medjool dates. And then here I've got some turmeric and black pepper. So the OGs of this channel will know why we mix them both together. But if you're new here, 
Black pepper helps your body to absorb more of the active ingredient in turmeric so it can benefit you better. Really great anti-inflammatory, helps to prevent some cancers as well, Alzheimer's, all sorts of different things. Get it in ya. And then we've also got some ground flaxseed here. So I generally just grind up a little bit of flaxseed for the next couple days and then we've got it on hand. Super fun. And then we've got some greens to put in there. I always like to put greens in my post-workout smoothies. Or I try to have greens with every single meal. So here we have a whole bunch of cilantro or coriander if you're in the UK. And I know a lot of people are cringing at this right now because you don't like the taste of it. But you can use any green. Kale is a pretty neutral one. Same with spinach if you want to use um, parsley is another favorite of mine. And then I'm also going to be putting in a scoop of plant-based protein powder. This is the one from Vivo Life their raw plant protein called Perform. Today I'm using a vanilla flavor. If you guys want to try this and you haven't yet, you can use my discount code Derek10 for 10% off. And there'll be a link in the description down below for that. And then I'm just gonna put in a splash of vanilla almond milk. All right, so all that's left to do is blend it up. Oh yeah, also got a haircut on my way home from the gym. That's why I'm looking a little sharper now. <laughs> Crystal, remember what they do at like Dairy Queen when they give you a frosty? They're like, oh! <laughs> and you guys know I love my granola, little crunch on the smoothie bowl. So put a handful of granola in there. We actually make this granola at home. It's so good. What do you put in here? How you make such amazing <laughs> granola? So I'll put the description or. I'll put the, I'll put the recipe in the description, but basically it's rolled oats, um, a few bananas, some almond milk or plant-based milk, whatever, whichever one you like, uh, and then flavoring. So you can do like cinnamon, pumpkin pie spice, vanilla would be really good. We don't have any vanilla, but it would be really good. You got a little, got a little smoothie on your. Uh, <laughs> and you can also add dates as well, and then you and blend you, it all together. What are these? You've been putting like um, berries in them. Yeah, so the last batch I made, I actually put frozen berries, and we hmm. dehydrate it, and when uh, you dehydrate them, they just turn out so good. Yeah, they're so they're so tasty. So, all yeah, right. it's pretty easy. Like I said, like we barely measure it, but I'll measure it out, and I'll put a recipe in the description. Uh, we use a dehydrator. You possibly mm -hmm. could use the that oven. One behind you. Could probably use the oven. I would just say when I make this, it has quite like a wet batter or dough, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. So if you put it in the oven, I don't think it would dry out as well. So you probably have to like lessen the uh, liquid that you put in it. Thanks for sharing. Well, thank you for sharing, babe, because I'm going to have a little bite. <laughs> it's an easy way of making it. And then I make it so Derek doesn't just buy every bag of Love Crunch at the health food store. Yeah, I know. I got a problem with granola. <laughs> So when I was at my P.O. box, I actually got another couple packages there. So I thought it'd be a fun video to open these other packages and see what we've got. All right, so this first package is from, from Living Engine. Actually, they're the ones who make this top that I always wear. That one that you see there, the plants and weights is all it takes. I'll put a link to their stuff in the description below because they definitely deserve it. But I wasn't expecting anything from them. What the? These are not for me. Crystal's getting stuff now. Like, what the heck? Yo, you're, you've been on the channel too much lately. <laughs> they look sweet, but... You should try them on, though. <laughs> Plant Fuel. These are pretty dope shorts, but again, not for me. Man, why do I even lift? <laughs> Whoa! This is fancy. Oh, what? Look at all this. I already smell, I already smell Earl Grey. So who is this? Anyway, Wise Monkey. Thanks so much, Wise Monkey. Shout out to you guys. If you wanna check them out, I'll put a link in the description down below. I don't know what they're all about, but this is coffee leaf tea, ginger lemon, light in caffeine. Boo, no, I'm just kidding. Oh, they gave us an infuser as well. Yo, big shout out to these guys. I really do appreciate this. This is really nice. How? We don't have one of these, I don't no, think. No, that's a smart idea. This is so cool, and then it's got a little top for it. Minty Marvel. Ooh. Smells nice. Smells kind of like toothpaste, but smells like that's mint, right? <laughs> Yo, what is this all about? I see extra large, which means extra no fitty. There it is. But... <laughs> no fitty. 
Oh, it's got like the ninja collar oh, like kind of thing. Nice. <laughs> Should I show them my magic trick? Okay, guys, check it out. I only have one magic trick and I definitely overuse it, but I'll show you guys <laughs> here. So, nothing in my hand, no camera tricks or anything, and then all of a sudden, whoa, just pop out a little card like that. That's a really nice gift. I'm gonna be keeping this box for sure. This is like the coolest box. This is the coolest box I've ever had. I'm like a cat, hey? Like give him a bunch <laughs> of stuff and I'm Why like, the ooh, box? the box. Keep it at least till Christmas. See if we can <laughs> use it for something. Dude, you is this, you just guys, Crystal's laughing at me. Is this not the coolest box y'all ever did see? I'm gonna put, I'm gonna make it a memory box. <laughs> and there's gonna be nothing about you in it. <laughs> All right, so check it out. I feel like right now I'm kind of at a crossroads and I'm kind of like lacking a little bit of direction and I'm just kind of like reaching out to you guys just, you know, for you to maybe give me some of your feedback and to just kind of like hear me out on where I'm at because I'm sure you guys sometimes feel the same way as well. So at the start of this video, I kind of mentioned how I noticed recently that I wasn't as lean as I have been in the past. And don't get me wrong, I don't think like being lean or being muscular has anything to do with like our value or how good of a person we are or anything like that. I realize that it's quite, what's the word I'm looking for? Vain to kind of care about, you know, looks and stuff like that so much. But it's hard for me not to because, you know, I'm in the social media eye. I'm always like comparing myself against other people, although I know we shouldn't do that. And I also like to just be in like my best shape that I can be. I like to be at my peak of my performance whenever possible. But what happens with me is I try and wear too many hats. Like I try and specialize in too many things or just be like trying to be good at everything. And then I tend to like lose focus. So I don't think I'm alone in this. Like I definitely, I wanna be like as big and muscular as possible and strong, but then I also wanna be like flexible, super mobile and also agile where I can do all like the calisthenics moves and holds and everything that I love doing. And then I also like to be like lean and shredded and show off the muscle that I have and just feel, you know, good and light and not like puffy and you know, all that sort of thing. So it's hard when you want all these things you can't always have them all and you kind of have to like pick and choose what you want to specialize in. So I know when I'm like building strength and trying to get bigger and stronger, my calisthenics movements and holds and all that suffer. They definitely do because I'm not practicing them and the more body weight you have, the harder that sort of stuff gets. And then conversely, when I'm practicing calisthenics a lot and I start dialing my handstands, I'm getting handstand push-ups and you know, front levers are great, back levers and all that. I notice that I start to lose size and a bit of strength with like weight training and that sort of thing. So then I'm always like flip flapping, flip flopping back and forth, trying to figure out like which one I want to specialize in. And it's tough in the position that I'm in at least, I think I put too much pressure on myself as all of us do. I do want to be all those things. There's people who have insane physiques and they're huge and like they're bodybuilders and I'm definitely not that, but then there's calisthenics guys who have great physiques as well, and they're like amazing at calisthenics, and they can do all these crazy moves that I can't do. So, you know, I don't really feel like I fit into that category either. So I'm kind of like in the middle, just trying to be good at all these things. And I don't know, I just, I kind of want some direction, and I was just kind of like reaching out to you guys to see what you think, and maybe what you want to see on this channel. And uh, I've never done like an official bulk and uh, I definitely am at like one of the bulkiest I've ever been right now. I'm definitely not like massive by any means. I never claim that I'm like a bodybuilder or anything, but I do try and build up my muscles. And um, I'm definitely like almost as heavy as I ever have been since I started lifting, maybe a couple pounds off. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Like if you want me to do like a full on bulk for a month or two and obviously I'll do it with like healthy whole foods primarily and uh, take you guys along for the ride and see if I can like gain some weight, gain some strength, put some size on. And I know I would be like, you know, in my head I would want to start lifting more weights, get a little bit away from the calisthenics. But I think that would be okay for a little while if I'm like doing this bulk and then come closer to like springtime or closer to the end of winter, I could start to you know, cut down, reveal what I've built over the winter and get right back into the calisthenics. Uh, or do you guys want to see me just start to, you know, 
get really serious about calisthenics and start getting some of those static holds I've always wanted, like the planche. And I mean, that can be like years to, to get that, but who knows? I, I don't really practice it enough and, you know, get my front levers really dialed again and get some handstand pushups going. I just don't really know. Uh, I definitely want it all, but I know it's not always possible, but maybe if I do it in stages that it would be. So yeah, I don't know. Just kind of reaching out to you guys. want to know what you think. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I definitely want to know your guys' opinion. Or if you guys don't care at all and you just want to see more recipe videos, then let me know about that as well because that is easy for me and I can definitely do lots of those. Anyways, I'm going to enjoy the rest of the smoothie bowl and try to figure out my life. <laughs> Anyways, much love. Uh, thank you guys so much again. I will see you guys soon with another video. Take care. <laughs> I would rather build a wall out of hay. Is that a saying? I don't think so.